Om Namah Shivaya. Welcome back to In The Code. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take any window. As long as the window is active and you press one button, it will bring that window to a particular size or dimension on your screen. You wouldn't have understood what I've done there. So let me take this as an example. I'm going to switch, move things here and again press that button and you'll see that every single time the window will snap to that predetermined size and dimension. And this is very useful for me because I'm gonna show you my OBS window here. Now what I do is I always have a bars thing on every single camera. By the way, the, move, the way I move through my multi cam is this way, right? So in my, let's say in one of these, there's always this bars here. And the reason I have these bars here is because I like to have my final output of the video in two is to one aspect ratio. So having these bars as a reference gives me an idea of what is getting cut and what is being seen because I don't have a 16 to 9 ratio. And that is very helpful in case of, let's say, let me fire Blender here. And by default, Blender in full screen, you will see that things are getting cut here. The object mode is getting cut, all of the workspaces are getting cut and at the bottom here timeline is getting cut so i wanted to fit it into into the range up in between those bars so every time i would do this and then i would come in here and then i would adjust this and then i would see if this is matching and that those seconds wasted was really hurting me now you come in here and press this button and it is done for you that's the beauty of auto hotkey let's get auto hotkeying I'm going to come into notepad plus plus. Firstly, we start with hashtag single instance force. What this does is every single time that you run the uh, auto hotkey script, it won't show a dialog box or something that you want to replace this instance or not. It will just run it. Double click on this. It will just run and there will be no problems at all. Okay. So that is that resize window. This is basically a predefined function. The reason you know is because it's inside this function thing. We have a few parameters here, left top width height zero. Okay. Win restore. Now I'm going to go into the auto hotkey documentation and go about explaining what all of these things are doing. So when restore, this basically takes your full screen and makes it into. So you see this button here, you can actually not see it, but this button here, uh, now that you hover over it in, I think in the earlier versions of windows, you could see restore and close and minimize, but now that you can't see it. So, oh, actually I did see something. Yeah. Minimize. But now over here, this weird kind of thing comes up. So this is called restore. I, I took me a while to figure what that what that's called. So that when you say win restore, that button is clicked next to cross. Okay. Win get position X Y W H A. So what is win get position doing? It is it retrieves the position and size of the specified window. So here we have a few variables X Y W H A. Okay. X, Y, W, H, A, win, get, position, references to the output variables in which to store the X and Y coordinates of the target windows, upper left corner, if omitted, the corresponding values will not be stored. So upper left corner, how do you understand whatever screen it is that you have? What is the upper left corner of it? Now, let, let me, for example, use, let's say After Effects for it. And I'm going to take this down so that it fits into my screen. And now I want to figure out what the upper left corner of the screen by default is. So there is this thing which comes with auto hotkey pre-installed. If you just type in spy, it's called auto hotkey windows spy, which is currently already running. So I'm going to just pull that up, which comes in here. And this is a very beautiful tool that auto hotkey gives you by default. When you have this as the active window, you're going to see some parameters show up in this spy class and no, 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 no. All of these things you're going to see mouse position, wherever your mouse is, if follow mouse is checked, this is going to update in real time, but I don't want the mouse position at the moment. So I'm going to take it off. The thing that we're interested in is active window position. Screen 1, 142, X1 and Y142. If I was to increase this, you're going to see that the Y value is changing, but the 1 stays the same. If this is flushed to the side, you're going to see 0 at some point. Now this is interesting. I think this depends from monitor to monitor. But for me, when I have this at full screen, it, has, it is at an offset of negative 8 and negative 8. So the top left corner of my screen, uh, which you can't currently see, but my mouse is over there, is at negative 8, negative 8. This is not valuable information. I'm just telling you how to like read things here. So now if you take this down or let's say if you were to move it, if you were to move it to the right, you're going to see that the screen X and Y is changing. This is your top left corner of the screen. And W, H again, using the same tool, 
after x comma y you have 1940 and 797 this is the width of the screen and the height of the screen so width of the screen is going to stay full and the height of the screen is going to change when you change this so this changes the width and height but this also changes the x and y because as i said x and y is this particular point so if you're moving the width it's also going to affect the x and y but if you're moving the height the x and y is going to stay the same it will have to move with the position of the window in the end we say a a is just referring to the active window because i want this function to work for every active window that there is so it doesn't matter even if it is notepad if i press that key combination that i said it will do this for this as well which is very universal i could come in here and define after effects and it would work only for after effects but that is limiting so a does it for all so if i was to look at my documentation for a while it says x y with height and win title and these can be omitted so you don't have to do anything about it now win move win move is another function inside auto hotkey again we're going to use the documentation we come in here win move by the way how do you get the documentation if i just shut this down if you type auto hotkey or after you've installed it you run as it'll bring something like this you come to quick reference that's going to be your and then you come into search that's how you come to your documentation in case you're wondering so win move is something i want to figure out what win move does so what we've basically so far done in the code is we've made it not full screen in the window we've gotten the position so x y w h a these coordinates the current whatever it is right doesn't matter if it's full screen or if it's somewhere else on the screen we've gotten the current position and now when move we are moving those so we say a here because firstly we have to affect the active window now this is something that i've learned here the whole code here i have to give uh, credit for that on this particular website so i'm going to bring this here so this website here called damir's corner damir's corner.com here he's put a, a very good uh, code and the blog and explanation for everything now how do i know that a should come here first because if you look at the documentation in documentation it say x y with height and then win title win title is here but it doesn't work that way i've tried running it so first there should be win title and then there are two commas so these two commas are so i don't quite know why you put two commas here because if you look at this left percentage left percentage top what this basically says is use this value okay whenever the function will be called use this value left is zero top is zero here we're just initializing it but when we call the function with the actual auto hotkey parameters uh, we'll have something else here so minus 11 minus 28 which is the position that i wanted to go eventually to a is the active window percentage left percentage top this is x and y what is the key here hashtag f14 so because i have a corsair keyboard with g1 with f g1 to g6 which is f13 to f18 i can use these extra keys for all of my fancy stuff okay so that is all that i want to document today's session i actually want to do a few more things i want to document two things inside after effects how to make like things rotate around a certain point and not change the orientation and i want to document a lot about number counters and adding commas and everything and i actually oh, started my system to document that very thing but uh, this one problem i was like every single time i have to open up to do this i was like let's fix this first and as life unfolded i just spent so much time trying to fix this because this is the thing with auto hotkey and all the auto hotkey scripts that i've made that it's not as straightforward as it looks like auto hotkey by all means is one of the easiest programming languages if you want to call it to learn because its syntax is very user friendly and there's a very good documentation and there are online forums where you can just type in things where you get stuck and you get an answer to your questions so it's very good that way but uh, still a lot of figuring out and a little bit of programming logic is always needed to understand how to how to get your particular thing to work because uh, what you'll find online is a way something works but to make it work for your use case is like that's where the work comes in and and even this is like an auto hotkey script which comes in here welcome to in the code this is 8 september 2023 let me let me stay on after effects and then show it this is 8 september 2023 12 5. the point that was coming to is that i finally cracked the code to how i want to go about approaching this channel and the main channel so for the very longest longest time i was i was thinking about i'm gonna use in the code as like a raw documentation of my life which is what i was doing and i would at some point transition to Raj meets Singarura for like full-fledged tutorials on After Effects and Blender and everything come to think about it it makes no point like I'm already doing tutorials on in the code it you might as well just make in the code a proper tutorials channel and that's what I'm gonna do and for Raj meets Singarura I do know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make short films and I'm gonna post those short films on the main channel right so it'll be the frequency of upload there's gonna be very less it's like once in a 
in a couple of months or so and the process of working on that short film i'm going to document here on in the cut which is where it will become like a complete ecosystem where one everything is feeding into one another along with short films i also want to do like song covers cuz music is something that i really love that is like a mental clarity i've gotten here and from now on every single video that i'm putting on in the cut and you must have noticed it in the past two videos as well that i'm spending a lot more time on like time stamps and the thumbnail and i'm trying to make it a proper youtube video like how a tutorial would be so the kind of thing that i was postponing to do on rajmi singh arora with tutorials and stuff i'm doing it right now on in the cut all i can say is let's go so thanks for being in the cut i'll catch you tomorrow peace